a very dangerous weather pattern is developing right now, and it's about to bring a lot more snow, extreme cold, and catastrophic flooding. Over the next several days, a fierce and long-lasting surge of Arctic air will sweep across dozens of states, delivering temperatures we rarely ever experience in the United States. Wind chills may plummet to 50 degrees below zero, with actual air temperatures dropping to 30 degrees below zero in parts of the Midwest, including Minneapolis. Even though the Arctic blast is stealing the spotlight, snow is not stepping aside. Multiple waves of fast-moving systems are lining up, ready to drop fresh rounds of moderate heavy snowfall across the Northern Plains, Midwest, and Ohio Valley. These classic Alberta clippers come in quick and hit hard, which is perfect for creating hazardous travel right in the middle of this brutal cold spell. Winter weather is not the only major threat ahead, as catastrophic flooding is becoming a real concern. Most of next week, a powerful atmospheric river vent is expected to slam into the Pacific Northwest, potentially unloading over a foot of rain in some areas. This region has already been hit hard by catastrophic flooding in recent days, and unfortunately, the upcoming surge of moisture could push conditions from bad to worse. So in today's forecast, we are going to break down exactly what you need to know about this extreme weather pattern that is developing right now. Now, the big story all week long is this major Arctic blast that is about to send life-threatening cold to a large portion of the Midwest and the Northern Plains, and it all begins tomorrow as we are forecasting a widespread area across the northern plains and the Midwest to have temperatures as low as 30 degrees below average, but Sunday morning is going to be a whole lot worse because almost everywhere in the Midwest will have temperatures anywhere from 30 to 50 degrees below average, including Chicago, Minneapolis, Des Moines, back over towards Sioux Falls, and even towards Fort Wayne and Indianapolis. You guys are going to be frigid, and again, this is life-threatening, dangerous cold that we're talking about Sunday morning, especially for those that are outside without multiple layers on. It is going to be extremely cold Sunday morning. Monday and Tuesday will not be much better. Even Monday, we are talking about significant cold across the Ohio Valley. This will reach all the way down into the southeast as we go into late Monday and Tuesday. And then by around Wednesday of next week, that's when the conditions are going to begin to improve across much of the United States with above average temperatures spreading out now. We have had a lot of that along the West Coast over the last few days, but that's actually going to make its way over the Rockies by around Wednesday and Thursday of next week, which could actually bring some record-breaking high temperatures into the Great Plains, believe it or not. And then once we get closer to the Christmas week, I know a lot of you are asking about this time frame. Again, we are very far out, but we at least can get you an idea of what the temperatures may be like right around this time frame, as it is a little bit easier to predict. And I do think we're going to be seeing above average temperatures all along the southern tier of the country right around Christmas time. Below average temperatures are more likely than not if you're back up in the northern United States, which means that we could actually have a battle zone right around Christmas where snow, rain, severe weather could all be on the table right around then. We'll have to wait and see what happens. It depends on a lot of different factors. And again, we are still about 13 days out from Christmas. So a lot of time between now and then. Now let's talk more about exactly how cold it is going to get over the next few days, beginning with our temperatures for tomorrow morning. Again, most areas in Minnesota and Wisconsin will be sub-zero. Our freezing line will make it down to Oklahoma tomorrow, but Sunday is again a very different story. We are talking about significant life-threatening cold for much of Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, Illinois, Chicago is only going to be four degrees Sunday morning. Indianapolis, that's not Indianapolis. Minneapolis will be as cold as negative 14. Back over in Grand Forks and Fargo, negative 25 degrees. I would not be surprised if we had a couple locations get to around 30 degrees below zero. Even across the Northeast, pretty cold for Sunday. And then eventually by Monday, that cold air is going to continue to sink further down to the south. It'll push towards Florida by around Monday morning where we could see some freezing temperatures in far northern Florida. And then around sub-zero temperatures temperatures near Indianapolis. Indianapolis only five for Monday morning. And then we'll have the potential for some record-breaking low maximum temperatures as we go into Monday afternoon across the Great Lakes and also the Ohio Valley. We're at least forecasting around 40 to 50 different record-breaking cold temperatures to happen here over the next few days. And then eventually by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, we're right back to being warm again. It has been a while since we've had temperatures near the 70s and 80s in parts of Nebraska, and that is likely what is going to happen on Wednesday. Areas in central Nebraska could actually be approaching 80 for the first time in weeks. And this is one of the reasons why frostbite is very likely on Sunday for anybody with exposed skin is because we are talking about wind chills all across the Midwest around 30 to 50 degrees below zero. So please make sure on Sunday you are bundling up. And in just a moment, we're going to talk about this next big snow event that's coming, which is only 24 hours away. But before we do that, we need to talk about the sponsor of today's video. Winter is when most people focus on storms, travel, and cold weather. But it is 
also the time when little health issues start creeping in and you tell yourself that you'll deal with it later. I did the same thing and I kept putting off a doctor visit because I didn't know who to book with or how long it would take. Then one day I realized I cannot keep ignoring it just because I was busy. And that's exactly where today's sponsor ZocDoc helped. ZocDoc, it's a free website where you can search and compare high quality in-network doctors. Choose the right one for your needs and click to instantly book an appointment. And ZocDoc isn't just for one type of care. They have more than 100,000 providers across nearly every specialty, from primary care to dental health, eye care to urgent health to mental health, and more. It's the one-stop shop for all your healthcare needs. No need to call doctor's offices and wait on hold either, because ZocDoc lets you do everything online. I kept putting off a checkup because I was tired of calling offices, leaving voicemails, and waiting weeks to get an answer. It always felt like a hassle figuring out who took my insurance or had an opening. When you found the doctor you need, you can see their actual appointment openings. Plus, ZocDoc helps you get appointments fast, typically within 24 to 72 hours of booking. And then you can even score same-day appointments. So as we head deeper into the winter, stop putting off the care that you need and go to ZocDoc.com slash MaxVelocity to find and instantly book a top-rated doctor today. That's ZocDoc.com slash MaxVelocity to find and instantly book a top-rated doctor today. Thank you so much to ZocDoc for sponsoring today's video, and let's get back to the forecast. Now, we do have quite a bit of snow coming over the next 48 hours, and this will likely be our next decent shot of snow for the next seven days. So let's talk more about it. This is what it looks like this afternoon. We actually will have some snow falling across Michigan over the next 24 hours. This will accumulate to about one to three inches for most of you. A lot of this is just lake effect snow. As we go into early tomorrow morning, a new piece of energy is going to be coming over the Rockies. This is from our atmospheric river event that is happening in the Pacific Northwest, which unfortunately is going to get a lot worse next week when it comes to California catastrophic flooding. We'll touch more on that here in just a moment, but I want to talk more about the snow. This one looks like Saturday morning. We'll have some light to moderate snow near Des Moines all the way back into South Dakota. Generally speaking, for those areas, we're not expecting any significant accumulations, but as we go late into Saturday morning, that is when this band of snow is going to become a little bit more organized, and it's also going to get a bit more intense, which means our snow will get a bit heavier by around lunchtime back over near Springfield, Illinois, also near Indianapolis, and this is where snowfall rates around two inches per hour are going to be on the table. And then during the afternoon, that snow is going to spread all across the Ohio Valley from northeastern Missouri back into western Pennsylvania near Pittsburgh. All of Ohio will be seeing snow right around 3 o'clock on Saturday. And then by the evening, most of that snow is moving out of Indiana and Kentucky. But notice that the snow is going to continue all across parts of the northeast, including New York City and as well as Maryland. What's interesting is that we can actually have some pretty heavy snow Saturday evening across New York City and even back into northern Maryland and even northern Delaware. This is not something that we've seen much of the last few winters, by the way. It's actually kind of surprising, but the last few winters, we've seen very few snowflakes over here. We're going to have a good shot of snow here as we go into late Saturday and early Sunday. A lot of it will be falling during the overnight hours, but nonetheless, snow is on the way. Now, in terms of total snowfall accumulation, we are actually going to get a decent amount of snow from the second round of snow showers that will be moving through the Ohio Valley in the Midwest, and this is going to go on top of what we just saw yesterday. So most areas are going to be picking up at least two to four inches of snow. That does include Des Moines, where around two to three inches is on the table. Indianapolis will probably see right around three to four, but there will be plenty of spots in south, southern and even central Ohio, northern Kentucky, and southern Indiana that will pick up around five to seven inches of snow. I do think this is almost a little bit of an underestimate. I honestly think we'll have some areas closer to eight to ten inches of snow when this is all said and done. It's going to be very localized, but if you're in southern central Indiana, that's where I think the jackpot is going to be. And then across areas like western Michigan, we'll be continuing to see some lake effect snow over the next couple of days. Appalachian Mountains likely going to see around five to seven inches. And then back over in the northeast, this is an interesting area to say the least, because if we do end up seeing that heavy snow like the HRRR model was showing, I do think a widespread two to five inches of snow is going to be on the table. And that'd be all across southern New England, including New York City, where we could see around four inches of snow from this upcoming event. And then just north of Maryland as well, back over in Pennsylvania, three to five inches of snow would be on the table. So again, decent amount of snow is on the way, especially for those in the New York City area that has hardly seen snow these last few winters. Now beyond this weekend, we are going to see a very bad weather pattern develop across the Pacific Northwest, which is going to lead to a load of rain and snow all week long. And we are talking about historic amounts of rainfall in areas like Washington and Oregon, which have already been hammered over the
over the last seven days from extreme rain that has led to major river flooding and that is going to continue all the way through next week however if you're east of the rockies there's good news there's really not a whole lot of weather coming up here over the next seven to ten days when it comes to big you know severe weather events or any big winter storms that'll probably change once we get closer to christmas but at least for right now things are going to be a little bit quieter to begin next week now in terms of total rainfall accumulation across the pacific northwest we are expecting a widespread three to seven inches of rain all across washington and oregon with some areas that'll pick up as much as a foot of rain this is very dangerous because we've already been at major flood levels in a lot of rivers and that will likely continue for parts of next week and as always thank you all so much for watching today's forecast if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe down below as a heads up we have a winter forecast out on my second channel more max velocity it is also going to be linked on the screen so make sure to click that check out that winter video brand new forecast we did not release it on the main channel has a lot of interesting stuff about this upcoming winter and why it'll likely be pretty crazy here over the next few months and a huge shout out to zocdoc for sponsoring today's forecast make sure to check them out it's the top link in the description below and we will see you all again in the next video